Hey, have you ever been to the racetrack and your driver kind of seems like he's all over the place and you thought to yourself, I wish there was a way to either speed up or slow down the steering of the go-kart? Well, guess what? This... about steering assemblies, how to set them up, and what the adjustments do. So I know that usually when people mention steering geometry or your steering system in your go-kart, kind of tense up and get nervous, but relax, take a deep breath, and like Chubb said in Happy Gilmore, yeah, the block, it. remember it's all in the head. Hey, hey, it's all in, come on, work with me now. It's all in the head. Yeah, it's all in the hips. Get off of me. <laughs> All right, so before we get too deep into this discussion, first we need to know what makes up your steering assembly. So your steering assembly uh, is made up of the steering shaft uh, and the Ackerman, or some people call it a pitman arm, and that's where your tie rods connect to the steering shaft, just like this picture. And then you have the tie rods, which connect the steering shaft to the spindles, just like this picture. And then you have the spindle arm, which that's what the tie rods connect to the spindles. So, whenever you're setting up a go-kart, it's always important to make sure the Ackerman is straight. Okay, and I always line mine up with the, the, the steering upright of the go-kart. The reason why this is important, because it controls how fast or, or the rate at which it pulls the left front and pushes the right front. Really, Dave? I'm being for real, Donnie. So check it out, let me explain, okay? So when you turn the steering wheel in your go-kart, okay, the rate at which it pulls the left front and pushes the right front is different, okay? So whenever you go into a turn, your left front always has to take the turn at a tighter turn radius than your right front does, okay? And you want to make sure your, your steering assembly is designed to, to pull the left front at a certain rate and push the right front at a certain rate. And when that Ackerman or Pittman arm isn't lined up straight, then that's going to throw that, those, those rates and speeds off, and you're going to give yourself front end geometry issues. Okay? Great Scott. So, um, whenever I set mine up, what I normally do is take a, a, a speed square and make sure my right tie rod is at a 90 degree angle to my Ackerman and make sure it's lined up straight with the steering upright. It's also really important to make sure your tie rods are level, okay? Now, sometimes things don't work out ideal, right? We don't live in a perfect world. And I know that sometimes you have to move the steering shaft up or down to fit the driver. So sometimes this can be either really easy or extremely difficult. And the times that it's really difficult and it's hard to get them exactly level, then in those times, like for like a small red plate driver that's five years old, then you have to do the best you can do and get it as close as you can, okay? And the reason for this is again, you don't want to change the rate in which it pushes the right front and pulls the left front. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. I'm with you, Dave, I'm with you. Hey. I'm glad you're on board, Randy. Now, I know most of you guys, you know, up to this point, think that I kind of sound like Farmer Fran from uh, Waterboy. Now, we went, I kind of fuck all we go to. That's where I got a boot call out my body. But just hang with me, all right? So, let's, so now that we've set up your steering assembly and we got everything straight, how do you conform and customize the cart steering 
to the driver or to your driver because every driver likes to feel something different, right? So this is what you're going to do. So on your spindle arms, on the left front and the right front, you have three holes, okay? The hole that's closest to the kingpin is the slowest you can make your steering, and the hole furthest away from the kingpin at the bottom here of your steering arm, or of your um, spindle arm, is the fastest you can make your steering. It's the same on the left front and the right front. Also, on your Ackerman or your Pitman arm, you have those same adjustment holes. The hole that's closest to the bottom is the, 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 as fast as you can make your steering. And when you go up to the top hole, it will slow the steering down. I can see how that works, Dave. Awesome, awesome. Well, guys, I appreciate you joining me for this video, man. I hope it, it shines some light on your steering assembly and how you can adjust it to fit different driving styles. And guys, remember, you know, race is tough. Don't be leaving no speed in the trailer.